Hello, my lovelies. It is time for another vlog, so stay tuned. Hello from Milan, Italy. Yay, we made it. It was a long train ride, an expensive train ride too, because we didn't book it ahead of time. We got very lucky though, because <laughs> There was literally only two seats available. We got the last two seats of the day to get, get here. Um, and we were able to get into our Airbnb just a tiny bit early. We had to actually wait outside for a little while for our host to get here, but we are now inside and I wanted to give you a really cool room tour or house tour, apartment tour, I don't know. But this place is really nice. So walking inside, there's all our bags. We have this little living room area. We got our Wi-Fi. They got some cute little things there. Uh, Xander's already set his Xbox up there, but they actually have two other kinds of Xboxes and a PlayStation 2 in there. Oh, and a PSP and some other stuff. Down here, they got some books. Nice long table. We've got foosball. There's some more books and some balls. Going this way, we have a nice big kitchen area and a washing room, which this washing machine is really cool because it's actually a washer and a dryer. And then we have this bathroom. Xander's currently going through all his stuff. We're actually going to check all of our things because... We just want to make sure we didn't bring anything from the other place to here, like bed bugs, because um, we did happen to wake up with some bites on us. And then we've got this really cool little patio here. Here is our view. There is a pink dinosaur. Can y'all see that? I'm zooming in on the pink dinosaur. I literally just noticed that. <laughs> anyway, we got some green areas, which is cool. That'll be handy for Snicker. Something else that's really neat is if we wanted to, this little pole here comes out and you turn it like that and it actually raises or lowers blinds that cover the whole thing which are really really cool but we're enjoying the view so we want to leave it like that okay and then we can go up the stairs here snicker has to be carried up the stairs because he's not comfortable with stairs as you can see through there's some more little toys up here So at the top of the stairs, directly in front. Oh, here's what it looks like when the blinds are pulled closed. That's neat. This is actually the room Xander's probably gonna be in. It's got a little closet there. This would probably be my room normally, but I decide I want the other room. We do have another little closet thing here. And then this big bathroom. And then this is the room I will be sleeping in. I think this is like a couch converted into a bed, but it has this really big desk and that'll be good for sitting and editing if I want to edit. So that is our little room tour. When we got off the train in Milan, oh my goodness, it was pouring rain and freezing. So. We are, um, I'm glad it's finally stopped raining, but it's quite chilly out and it's probably going to continue raining more tonight. And we really don't want to go out and explore and stuff with the weather and everything the way it is right now. The rest of the time we're here, it's supposed to be like no rain and the temperatures are supposed to be better. So we're thinking that this evening we're going to go to a grocery store and pick up some supplies and bring them back here and then just kind of chill unpack sort ourselves out um this evening and then tomorrow we'll go out and start exploring biggest thing is we want to go through all our stuff because as i mentioned i don't know how well you can see but i've noticed we have 
these spots on us. And from doing a little research, it looks like we may have gotten bed bugs bites from our last place. And like, I only just noticed this this morning. And so you want to go through everything. I literally just noticed it since we got into this Airbnb or while we were waiting for the, the host to arrive to let us in. And so I want to make sure that we're not bringing anything into their Airbnb. And so we're like going to go through literally everything in our suitcases, shake everything out, wash and dry all the clothes and everything just to make sure nothing has attached itself to anything because we don't want to spread that around uh, or bring it home with us. <laughs> that would also be terrible but also i don't want to keep getting eaten up fortunately they don't really itch but yeah apparently i have quite a few like on my neck and stuff so i was like looking at it i was like oh my gosh it almost looks like i have chicken pox or something because they're just all over my arms that's unfortunate okay time to go and get some groceries We are on the tram. We are headed to the city center. We're going to go to the um, Domo. Do, Domo? How do you say it? Domo, I think. And uh, it's the cathedral. And we're going to go check it out and uh, probably get some lunch before that because I'm starting to get hungry. And I mean, it's a little bit of an early lunch, but I think that'll be okay. If it's, this is anything like Florence, everything's gonna close pretty early at lunchtime. So, <laughs> are you ready to explore? I'm ready. Yeah. The snigger is down there. <laughs> Sniffing circle. Snicker. You're so cute. Hi. How do you zoom? Glad he jumped over that. <laughs> He's having so much fun. Andy, Andy, uh oh, Andy. Oh. Hey, mom. How do you zoom?
So can we get him to jump these? <laughs> He's like, I'll go around. <laughs> Paul Snicker. Paul Snicker to you. Paul Snicker to you. <laughs> no, come here. Come here. Take this and walk him. You're spinning snicker? I do.
So we had a lot of fun exploring earlier. Um, then we went back to the Airbnb, and now we are out to dinner. And uh, then we're going to go to the Domo again so that we can see it all at night and see how that whole square looks and everything. But I thought I'd share with you what we're having for dinner. We decided to have ramen. We're at this place. I'll hold it up here. I don't know how you say it. But our first thing has come, and these are some beef steamed dumplings. Look at this. <laughs> so one of the best things about traveling and going to all these new places is getting to try all the new foods and stuff and we just went to this place called dream donuts and look at these milkshakes these are called dream shakes mm -hmm. so i've got a chocolate milkshake with strawberry I don't know, syrup and a strawberry and chocolate donut with whipped cream and strawberry syrup on top. And then mm, Xander's is getting a little messy. His is chocolate with chocolate syrup and Oreo donuts and whipped cream. And then we also got like um, a dozen donuts to take back to the Airbnb with us. Okay, let's try this. It's foaming off the side. That's good. So Xander and I, I think, have gotten to the point where we're a little bit burned out from all the go, 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 see, do, walk a million miles, and um, we just kind of want to relax, you know, sit back and just stay in and, and enjoy the quiet and the not having to do anything. And so I think that's kind of what we're gonna do today. Tomorrow is going to be a clean pack, all that stuff because the next day we leave and head to Austria. But yeah, I think we're taking today to just not do much of anything. I think I'm going to here in just a second, um, go and take Snicker to a dog park. Maybe I'll film some of him playing with other dogs. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll come back here and do some editing because I need to do that. So that's, that's where our day is. Snickers having the best day ever. <laughs> back at the Airbnb now. I was getting hungry, so I thought we'd come back here, have some lunch, let him get some water in him, maybe get some editing done, and let Snicker nap because he had definitely gotten tired. All he wanted to do was lay down. So uh, I'm going to let him nap, get some editing done, and then we'll probably go back to the dog park a little later because I don't have anything else that I plan on doing today and he is having just the best time. So I had my lunch and I got the dishes and some other cleaning done and I took care of some trip stuff and like this much editing. 
And then I was struggling to stay awake because editing always puts me to sleep. Uh, so we're back here at the dog park. There's currently no dogs here, uh, but Snickers on the lookout for friends. <laughs> he is very much enjoying this. So yesterday was chaotic. <laughs> so it was supposed to be our like cleaning and packing day and I needed to do like a bunch of laundry and I put the first load in. Actually I just put some in the dryer because there's like a drying setting. Uh, it's a washer dryer combo. So I did some in the dryer and that was fine. Um, I was just kind of freshening up the clothes, you know, some clothes. And then I had other clothes that these clothes needed to be washed. And so I put a load in and it ran for like ever. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is taking a long time. Well, eventually it sounded like it stopped and I heard some beeping. And so I was like, okay, maybe it's time. And I go in there and all the lights are flashing on the washing machine. And I'm like, I don't know if that means it's done. <laughs> it's not doing anything. And the door was unlocked, so I went to open it and out gushed all this water and flooded the floor. And so I like immediately closed it and started cleaning it up. I wrote the guy and yeah, it was a big mess. I ended up having to like squeeze out as much water as possible. His parents came um, and tried to figure out what was going on with the washing machine and they thought they maybe had gotten in, so they wanted to put another load in real quick. And so I put a load, a load in, and then we went out um, to get food. And then I guess they were taking our other clothes over to her house to put them in her dryer and get them dry because they were soaked. And then um, I guess they came back and the washing machine had done the same kind of thing. So they had to like drain it and all that stuff and get our clothes out and take them over there. And then um, our host and his wife brought our clothes back and it was like right at midnight. And so <laughs> we were packing late and yeah, it was just, it was, it was kind of chaos, but we have successfully gotten out of there and we are currently on the train on our way to Innsbruck, Austria, which is very exciting. So I'm going to end this vlog here and I'm going to start a new vlog for Austria. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!